Hey guys, we're here today with a new game, Everything, which has already done something that I don't like. I had to... I had to actually... you know, I started the game up so that I could uh, add it to OBS to capture it, and um, I had to actually force quit out of it as the game just started without giving me any kind of menu or anything. Like, this, this screen came up, and I was like, oh, d d d d I can't do anything. I can't, like... I was like, I can't, uh, I can't hit escape or F1 or anything and bring up a, a settings of some kind to make it not play in full screen. Um, and then, like, what well, I clicked off and it auto-minimizes the game. And then it just started without me. Like, I didn't, I don't think, didn't hit enter or anything. And it's like, I get when you're, if you're trying to be cute. Let's say WASD. Yeah, I don't like WASD either. But there's no, there's no option to change it. So I, X is think. Where do I come from? I don't know much of anything about this game. The only thing I kind of know is that it's like a world or a universe where you control everything in it, and I don't know what kind of gameplay there is or if there is any. And see, again, I didn't hit X to continue right there, and it was just like, eh, I'm, I'm bored of waiting for you. Let's, in the sake of, of art and having a seamless... think... How did I get- wait, did it say exit autoplay? Why would autoplay be on? How did I get here? It's a dog. <laughs> you don't say. Ha! Huh, now, now we can... Okay, settings. Let your players do this first! <laughs> like, I get that you wanna... I get that it's fun to go, like, ooh, I'm playing with the boundary, but it's kind of like having a movie where you go to the movies, and you're sitting there with your popcorn, and they're playing the trailers, and in the middle of another movie's trailer, your movie just starts without telling you. It's like, it's an interesting thing to do, but it's not... <laughs> It's not very nice for people who are trying to have a, you know, they're trying to have a fun experience. You sense it. I do want, yeah, I want subtitles on. Status updates. Turn this off for less reading. No, yeah, that's fine for right now. I and labels. Turn this off when you're more comfortable in the world. Random thoughts and audio narration. Disasters. Disasters auto optimize scenes if low frame rates are detected. I don't really get that. There's also, though, there's still no. Like. What if I want it to play windowed? Not an option. A little disappointing, but okay. Help. We won't rely on help yet. What's things, though? I cannot scroll this list. Oh, well. Let's just do things. I really wish, really, really wish that I could change the settings. Change the, the keys. WASD is not how I play games. Thoughts info added under help. Opened animal category. That doesn't really tell me anything.
I can't tell if this is a ma oh whoa 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 why can't you guys see the game what the hell <laughs> and why is it auto playing <laughs> it's oh man I'm I'm super annoyed at this you all right hold on if I click out click back in no good if I click out No, this is this is straight up broken. It does not want does not want to do this game. Is that I guess because I changed the resolution while I was I guess I'm going to try closing the game and starting it again. Is this coming up at all now? Okay, it is. But it's not the right size. No, it is the right size. We're going to delete. This thing. When did this start? Am I controlling this? Where did this come from? I am not a wolf this time, I am a monkey. Ook. Now I'm afraid to go into settings or anything, so I guess we're just going to go along like this. Clicking doesn't seem to do anything. You are chimpanzee. Thoughts, thoughts info added under help. I guess it's not really clear to me if I'm supposed to just fool around in here, or am I supposed to, like, open up the help and know what's going on? I go in here. Okay, let's move. There's an enter, which I can't. It doesn't look like I can change any of these. Influence dance, whatever that means. Space is sing. 
It is Dance M's Open Mind. I'm going to... Everything plays automatically if not being controlled by a human. Okay. Everything, the game. <laughs> Everything plays automatically if not being controlled by a human. Autoplay uses unlocked abilities to guide its behavior. The autoplay menu allows you to control how often each ability will happen. Combinations of abilities produce different effects. For example, to keep descending through levels, set Ascend to 0 and Descend to 3. Tr to transform a single area into random things, set Scale Travel to 0 and Transform to 3. Tips. You cannot make a mistake, other than buying the game, apparently. <laughs> New things emerge from continued exploration. Hold left shift to move faster. Hold G to bring a dispersed group together. Larger things can traverse distances faster. If frustrated, let go of the controller. If lost in an area, restart area and settings. Once you get a feel for the game, hide eye labels. Hi hide the I and labels and settings for a cleaner interface. I will give you a little bit of an attempt here. I do need to reverse the there and subtitle should be on all right so we're gonna explore they started us out right next to this uh, this crystal thing but it doesn't seem like I can interact with it in any way other than dancing. What was the dance button? Oh, we have an X. There's nothing like the smell of grass in the afternoon. Except maybe for the smell of flowers. And leaves and bushes. But other than that, really nothing like grass and weeds. This rock is moving. Don't deny it. I saw it happen. So the, the fact that they said, yeah, there's there's autoplay and you can't turn it off and it just comes on automatically if you're not touching anything. Maybe I'm still getting used to what kind of a game this is. Like, I'm okay with things that are different and things that are not quite games this might be too much I don't know I thought there was a thing over here press X near thought icons to listen to thoughts but there's no thought to open hold left shift when moving to speed up okay so like there's a thought can I do it from here? I need to get closer. Or is that the one we that's the one we already heard, maybe. Alright, so there's a glowy thing over here. They want me to go there. No, we've already been here. This is where we started. Hi Hitan, you found me, finally. We've been waiting for you for such a long time. Notice my thought had the blue icon. Look out for others with this. We're here to show you what you're able to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck. Well, okay. Then I will I will allow the game to teach me instead of um instead of looking up all the controls and experimenting violently. So that one seems important, but will it let me come? Oh, it will. Okay. You're off on a great adventure. I wish I could join you. Maybe one day I'll be able. Also, I'm not a real big fan of X. Like, I already don't like eight, uh, WASD. Now they want me to hit X in order to think to things. Everything sings. Singing is how all things communicate. 
Singing helps things find or avoid one another. It deepens bonds between some things and separates others. It's how things announce their existence. So, sing. Sing all day long. I want to hear what you sound like, and so does everything else. If other things hear you, they might sing back. Okay, then. The weird animation. <laughs> we'll see if, if I like this or not. Sing to the rock. Other trees aren't exactly fans of the spring like I am. I just get a lot more work done this time of year. What the heck? I don't think this is going to turn into a game that we play for, for several sessions. It might just be today. Hey, how far back do you think chimpanzees go? You might not always feel it, but you took trillions of generations of chimpanzees getting mixed up all the way back to forever. It's incredible how you ma it's incredible you made it through and or finally arrived here. The other chimpanzees around here are reflections of you from back then, each with their own dreams and their own lives to live. As you meet other chimpanzees, you will sometimes feel inseparable from them and find where you really start and end is up to you. Other chimpanzees are nearby. Join with them by pressing or holding V1 close. Where are there other chimpanzees nearby? Those are... That's an orang orangutan. Not chimpanzees, though. You look like chimpanzee. No, you're a baboon. You are pigs. Okay. It's not what rabbits sound like, or is it? They probably want me to join with more chimpanzees before they will continue giving me more hints. Yeah, there's nothing to join. Who's thinking over here? I've lived here for generations. I remember back when grass was blue and the sun was a carrot. I remember when days were black and the weekend was a type of broken wheel. Come back when you need a story. I will not. Thank you. Where was I? Probably wherever it sh wherever I was when it said other chimpanzees are near. I probably should have. I probably should have looked for chimpanzees near there. These, like, it's definitely not them, right? They're gorillas. Or does the game now allow me to, to just be ruined forever? It did say you cannot mess up or something like that, right? But I have a feeling that I already have. 
Because if they need me to join with some chimpanzees before they will give me the next story thing, we might be in trouble. Definitely not you guys, right? Now it's not even saying anything anymore when I press V. It's not even like, ah, eh, you're doing it wrong. Can I talk to the tree? No. This is going to be the last of the spring sun. I made a deal with someone who guaranteed it. Is there more than one of these things or did I go in a circle already? I think I went in a circle already. Or the world is extremely small and I wrapped all the way around it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, now we're together. Everything's so green here, most of the time anyway. I don't really mind it. If the presentation of this wasn't as nice, like if it wasn't, like if it was, if it was garbage art instead of, well, even, even right now, it's not, like the, the blur effect and everything is nice and the clouds and all that, but if this looked a little bit worse, this would be, I can't do it if you're watching. oh, Marstead. <laughs> Just turn around. All right. <laughs> can't do it. I, I'm playing, I'm me. playing something of an experimental game here. This is this is a little bit less of a game than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, taken off. All right. That's fair. There you are. Over time you might find there's no right or wrong path to take here. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go off in their uh, need to go in their own direction because you can't control everything at once. At least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. Okay? Okay, so I, I let it go. This this game looks like a game. I'm not sure that it is. It it's had a lot of things that confused and frustrated me within the first like five minutes. Not the least of which is that if you stop doing anything, the game starts playing by itself, which is something that I would turn off if I could, but it doesn't appear to be an option. So far, all I've done is roll around and follow these thought bubbles. I think I'm getting it. Finally. It's like... Ah, uh, hmm. No, sorry. I lost it. I've, I've yet to figure out if this is just, like, 100% pretentious or if I will start to enjoy it after I give it more of a chance. So, there are thought bubbles that appear, and there's also another special icon that it, that is supposed to, I guess, help me, like, advance the game. And I, I can't find any of those other ones. Whoosh! Like, they're visible through terrain, so they're just flat out, there isn't one yet. Before, I had to, like, do what it said. I had to, um, join with another chimpanzee in order to... Psst, I'll tell you a secret. This is all my land. 
I own every blade of grass, you see. I'll let you hang out here for now, but if you so much as look at me the wrong way, I'll have you banished. Now leave me alone so I can waste away my life in peace. Alright, is this the monkey again? Let's join together, monkey. Oh, okay, so I I left this chimpanzee and then after I rejoined with it, it's like, okay, there's the special icon. Hey, what do you make of all the small things around here? All the plants and little creatures, are they here for you? Or are you here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other. Because you can only see things from a chimpanzee's perspective, just as I can only see from a stone pine's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Can descend to level below. Get Descend. Get close to something small. Hold left click. Select with WASD. Okay. So where is something small? You, you there. That thing. You are rabbit. Bonding info added under help. I am now three rabbits. Shall I descend further? I don't oh nope. Here's another story thing. So that I don't miss it, I'm gonna I'm gonna always go after these when I see them. Hi friend. It looks like you've seen things from a little thing's point of view. Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from the other way around. To see things from bigger things' points of view. You gotta move the apostrophe over. Bigger things apostrophe. Out of all the points of view you find, which one is the right one? Can ascend. Get close to something big. Like a tree? Or does it have to be a monkey? Oh, um... Okay, I I didn't mean to be grass, but I'll give it a shot. I'll be, I'll be grass. Yeah, all right, I'm joining a whole bunch of other grass, but I move very slowly. Like, I can't even get to the edge of this patch of dirt. It's taking so long. <laughs> Can I join to some more grass? Oh, there's a tiny little thought down here. What are you thinking, bug? I'm feeling kind of weird. I ate some dirt earlier, and it's not going down too well. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I can, I can rustle. That is my song, is grass. What are you? Oh, four, three leaf clovers. All right. We can't all be four leaf clovers. Maybe if we come, if we become blind, it'll become easier to find four leaf clovers. Our hearing will just be so good. What? What button is that? I pushed the wrong button. Oh, that was to let go. That was to let go of additional things. Oh, I saw the shadow of a butterfly. Uh, that is a rock. Oh, 
Oh, fine. We'll be a rock. Everything is set to default enter. It went away. You are obsidian. There's something over here. I have not seen this icon before. What there is. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. <clears throat> now, the first thing, though, uh, that we have to do is to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about, ideas of the world which are built into the very nature of the language we use and of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using the word myth to mean simply something untrue, but to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth is an image in terms of which we try to make sense of the world. If you, it said it for like a billionth of a second. It said something about everything being set to default mode. Who are you? So I might like actually going back to being uh, big again. Maybe we should do that. One button mouse. Oh, okay. Hey, Serpent! Shall we become a frog? Uh, the frog is not an option, apparently. Oh, because it's smaller. You are green frog. This is a strange little game. I was saying before, I was kind of like frustrated at how, uh, what a poor job it was doing of like introducing the game to me, but now it's all right, I guess. For a rough grass, I am pretty resilient to the sun. I hardly feel it. I wouldn't want to be a green frog, though. Alright, so this is a bit procedurally generated. <laughs> Where is... if I want to be, become bigger... Ah, so these, these move by actually growing. Growing and, and shrinking. I need something a little bit bigger. It's almost like a Katamari Damashi kind of thing. Like, nope, they don't count. Or do they? No, I can't. I can't seem to get them. There's nothing nearby that is larger than me. Oh, here's a thing, though. What is this? A world that peoples. You, as a human being, you grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way Possibly? that an apple grows off an apple tree. 
So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world that peoples. And so the existence of people is symptomatic of the kind of universe we live in. Just as hair on a head is symptomatic of what's going on in the organism. But we plants have move been very slowly. Up not to feel that we belong in the world. So our popular speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't, you came out of it. We say, face facts. We talk about encounters with reality. As if it was a head-on meeting of completely alien agencies. And the average person has the sensation that he is a somewhat that exists inside a bag of skin, a center of consciousness, which looks out at this thing and what the hell is it going to do to me? Uh, I recognize you. You kind of look like me. And uh, I've seen myself in a mirror. And uh, y you look like you might be people. <laughs> so maybe you're intelligent. Maybe you can love, too. And uh, maybe perhaps you're all right. Some of you are, anyway. You've got the right color of skin, or you have the right religion, or whatever it is, you're OK. But there are all those people over in Asia and Africa. And they may not really be people. When you want to destroy someone, you always define them as unpeople. So it was kind of like half listening to that. But that is one thing, you know, just speaking about morality or whatever, I do feel like that's one of basically the worst thing that you can do in life is is what he was saying, un, unpeople someone. As soon as you go, well, if you fit into that category, I'm just going to not think of you as a person anymore. Not really something that I agree with. I don't think I don't think we should do that to anyone. I'm pretty stuck now. I'm stuck as as a reed of some kind. What am I? Are you a part of me too? You don't look like a rough grass, but who knows anything these days? These are these are pretty procedurally generated. <laughs> So I can go back into smaller things, but I don't really want to. What? Oh, okay. It's just it's just saying I've never seen that before. Mushroom? Sure, I'll be mushrooms. Why not? I'll be a whole bunch of mushrooms. Entoloma. I don't want to keep hearing this guy's lectures. Not right now. How did I get here? Did I ride here in a rabbit? That sounds familiar. I wish I could go in these butterflies that were up here, but... Life mostly involves going out and entangling yourself with others. But I want to show you another way of getting mixed up. A very beautiful thing you can do, and that's dancing. To dance is to move in a pattern and not towards anywhere in particular. To make yourself the destination, and to enjoy never quite arriving. Dancing always takes two, but the more the merrier. Everything, everything, dances a little differently, so try doing it with different things. Join with two or more things, then stop moving, press 8 to dance. And I did... A new entoloma is ready to be born. Oh, we're reproducing. Ah. Okay, so now there's lots of us. It didn't really help, unfortunately. Right. 
Oh, I thought I got the dragonfly. Maybe not. Butterfly! Come back. I want to think. Nope, no good. All oh, these are smaller. Nettle, wild barley. I suppose it would be cheating if I could go into something that was a, uh, that could fly around. What are we now? Moss! Well, that's exciting. Wish I were bigger sometimes. Yeah, me too. So left, left arrow on your eye will light up when you can ascend. I can't really tell what this other arrow is supposed to be. There's like a... Did I miss out on a tutorial? Was it telling me how to use that icon and I missed it? E? Is that it? Maybe? E? F? R? Can ascend scale. Okay, that's can descend, can ascend, can ascend scale. Possible to ascend scale level. Hold let the truck and enter truck. How did that happen? There wasn't a rabbit there. I'm not even at the same place. They just decided to let me. All right. Time to get it done. You are a gorilla. Here we go. You have not let bonded with this thing. Hold left shift when moving to bond faster. Added under stone, 7%. Oh. There we go. You are rock huge. Alright. 
I've seen bigger elms than smaller elms, but I like being the size I am. I wouldn't mind a nice jacket, though. Alright, we're gonna grab a bunch of trees. We're gonna dance, maybe? Am I dancing? No, it's eight. Eight to dance. We're Douglas Fir. Another idea altogether. We have this hostility to the external world because of the superstition, the myth, the absolutely unfounded theory that you yourself exist only inside your skin. Now I want to propose another idea altogether. Billions of years ago you were a big bang. Now you're a complicated human being. But so we define ourselves as being only that. If you think that you are only inside your skin, you define yourself as one very complicated little curly cue, way out on the edge of that explosion, way out in space and way out in time. And when then we cut ourselves off and don't feel that we are still the Big Bang. But you are. Depends how you define yourself. You are actually, if, if this is the way things started, if there was a Big Bang in the beginning, you're not something that is a result of the Big Bang. You're not something that is a sort of puppet on the end of the process. You are still the process. You are the Big Bang, the original force of the universe coming on as whoever you are. See, when I meet you, I see not just what you define yourself as, Mr. So-and-so, Miss So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so. I see every one of you as the primordial energy of the universe coming on at me in this particular way. I know I'm that too. But we've learned to define ourselves as separate from it. So this thing, we don't seem to be, I've, I've seen more than one now, right? This isn't the same one as before, is it? And it doesn't, it doesn't look like I can occupy it. Do 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 places to go. So yeah, I guess part of part of what I want to do now, just as a completionary, so you know, to turn it into a bit of a game, is to try and be one of of everything so far. Like there are a lot of big things and small things that I have not turned into yet. Although now, when it says, send, can I just put me in a, oh, gotcha. Okay, and while I'm huge, time is like flying by. You are green continent. What are you? You are sand continent. And you? Can I be two of these? Sure can. You are rock continent. Can we dance? We can dance. We can have continent babies. Look at that. I bet you didn't know how that worked. It totally is.
And so this is this has got to you know it's going to be a procedural thing where I could pop into any one of these things that I am and see what's on it, all the way down to like tiny little bug levels. Hi, Moon. Sand, green. What are you over there? Ice continent. I am ice continent. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. It's letting me go up. What am I now? You called it. Flying info added under help. You are green planet. You are Meso Planet. <laughs> we reached this. Yeah, it was because for a while I didn't realize that you can just say like I want to. I want to go to the next level up and just you just do it. There's something out here that's thinking. What is it? It must be really far. Nope. Oh, there it is. Or is this just another... That's right, the recordings are the things that are colored strangely. What I would call a kind of a basic problem we've got to go through first is to understand that there are no such things as things. That is to say, separate things. That that is only a way of talking. If you can understand this, you're going to have no further problems. I once asked a group of high school children, what do you mean by a thing? And first of all, they gave me all sorts of synonyms. They said it's an object, which is simply another word for a thing. It doesn't tell you anything about what you mean by a thing. Finally, a very smart girl who was in the group said a thing is a noun. She was quite right. A noun isn't a part of nature, it's a part of speech. There are no nouns in the physical world. There are no separate things in the physical world either. See, the physical world is wiggling. The clouds, mountains, trees, people are all wiggling. And uh, only when human beings get working at things, they build buildings in straight lines and try and make out that the world isn't really wiggly. But here are we sitting in this room all built on straight lines, but each one of us is as wiggly as all get out. As wiggly as all get out, he says. You are Montgomery Palm. That's me. Oh, I left him behind. Our coconut tree. You are a giraffe. <laughs> Assuming that we're in Australia, I am a zebra. Oh, that's a nice zebra. You are camel. So what's the... I see. There are many, 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 many things that you can become. Small soul. I was wondering. I saw SSSB, and I'm like, is this Smash Brothers or something? Small solar system body. Things in the solar system that are neither planets nor dwarf planets. So if I were 
some sort of madman, <laughs> I could go for 100% completion in this game. That that sounds like lunacy to me. Uh-oh, what are you going to teach me? Thoughts are the friction between things and other things. Thoughts would never exist if everything thought it was the same thing. Okay. As you go around listening to things, their thoughts will make impressions on your mind. When you go out and experience life, you will have your own thoughts. And they will reflect the things you've listened to and absorbed. Give thinking a go. Just try not to take it too seriously. When the eye is lit up, think by pressing X. Remember back when days were black and figure out here and going. There is nothing I can go anywhere and smaller camels, but I like. Alright, so we are we are now subreddit simulator. We're now subreddit simulator. And we're just stitching together our own thoughts based on what we have overheard other things thinking. I'll make a camel noise. Oh, I can't. I wish it would stop being sunny for good. Alright. Professor Portal! Hello! Hello, I am, a, I am going to be a donkey for Christmas. Is this a donkey? I am, it, it's an okapi. This is the noise an okapi makes. <laughs> Kit Fox! Yeah, let's get real tiny. Sedevera. 